I took a deep breath and listened to the old bray of my heart. I am, I am, I am. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Breathing is the life-sustaining process more important even than food or water for our survival. Without breath, we could not exist for more than a few minutes. Breathing deeply improves the quality of our health and emotions and our ability to be more fully present in our experiences, centering us so that we can show up fully open and available to both the beauty and challenges of our life. Lie down onto your backs. Separate your feet mats width apart and let your knees drop inward towards each other. Place your hands onto your belly and breathe. We are only ever as healthy as our cells. The health of our cells are dependent on the quality of the nutrients we take in, its ability to absorb the nutrients, and then release its waste. Billions of pounds of chemicals are being introduced into our air, water, earth, and food annually. And the impact these toxins have on our health and planet is critical. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Cross your right leg over your left and drop your knees over to the left side. Reach the right arm out. Look towards the right arm and breathe. Every time we breathe, toxins from our environment enter our lungs and redistribute through our cells. Breathing deeply cleanses our system of residual toxins and allows for oxygenated blood to circulate, purify, and nourish our body. Squeeze your knees back into your chest. Cross your left leg over the right and let your knees drop to the right. Reach your left arm out. Look towards the left arm and breathe. As you practice, you'll incorporate deep breathing with fluid movements. This increases respiration and circulation and as a result, improves the flow of lymphatic fluid, aiding in the elimination of waste from the over 600 nodes throughout the body. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Place the sole of the left foot onto the floor. Grab hold of the sole of the right foot and lift it upward towards your ceiling. As you exhale, gently pull your right thigh downward towards the ground. As you breathe and move, you'll saturate the organs, including your stomach, liver, kidneys, and intestines with fresh blood and fluid. The toxins will recirculate and release through the breath and sweat. Squeeze your right knee back into your chest and place the sole of the foot onto the floor. Squeeze your left knee in. Grab hold of the sole of the left foot, lift it upward towards your ceiling. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, pull the left thigh down. Observe the length and depth of each inhale and exhale. Let the breath lead this practice, never rush. The deeper you breathe, the more you can maximize the detoxification benefits of every pose. Squeeze both knees back into your chest. You're going to roll to your right side and sit up. Come into a cross-legged position, sitting up as tall as you can. Close your eyes and place your hands onto your knees. Exploring Ujjayi Pranayama, the breathing technique we use in flow yoga. You're going to first take a very deep breath in through the mouth. Like a full, long gasp, the back of your vocal cords wide and hollow. Then as you exhale, Imagine you are trying to fog up a glass window. Now let's try it again. Inhale. And exhale. Now do the same thing, but keep your mouth closed. Observe the breath traveling over the back of the vocal cords and down into the diaphragm. Exhale completely, feeling the side ribs contract gently. Place your palms into namaste. We ask, may this practice be an opportunity for purification to occur, body, mind, and spirit. May it remove all physical and emotional toxins and tension and help move us to be more open, present, loving today and all days. May this practice be blessed.